Roxy Podcast. That's right. This is the Roxy Podcast with uh, Mike. Mike. I'm Mike. And I'm Alex. And Mike is holding a mic. What a funny guy. Why is it so easy to be rocking in these chairs? Like, if there's a chair that moves, you can just move away. Nobody will ever not rock in a chair that's, that rocks, you know? It's like you could be anywhere at an office or waiting, like, in jail or yeah, you something. Just you, you're in a rocking chair. You're going to rock. I mean, that's why they made them. It's like people want to rock. They're rockers. So they're going to rock. So that's, like that's why the song, you know, I want to rock. That what it was. That's what it was intended for. Like, yeah, like, chairs. you know, like when, when you're an old man. Like This is not a rocking chair, by the way. Like when you're a geezer, geezer life, like, you, like your grandmas and your grandpas, you know, old people, you know, like they just sit in their backyard in a rocking chair h hating their life. Yeah. It's like, I mean, they're rocking with the breeze going, so that's the best they can do when they're, you're like 80 and everything you wanted has don't failed. Don't tell me what I can do when I'm 80. You don't know what I'm capable of. Well, I hope you're capable more than rocking. Hey, that's all I want. I want to be a rocker at 80. I'm going to turn 80 well, you got and the I'm going to keep on rocking. You're just missing everything else. The rock and roll spirit. Anyway, so yesterday we went to a comedy show, right? Well, it was a stand-up. Like an open mic? It was an open mic for uh, up-and-coming comedians. It was great. It was funny. Yeah. Yeah, there was uh, some people that would go on stage and then tell their jokes. And then there was this guy that would tell them, uh, your time's up, you got to leave now, or else you will be escorted out. So, Look at this funny guy. You should have signed up yesterday. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have. So after the, they're done... It's like, okay, you got to leave. And after you leave, you say, okay, my name was uh, comedian number one. Thank you. And people clap. But then after they clap and you walk off the stage, the, the guy that's hosting the thing says, give it up for comedian number one. So you got to clap again for their name, even though you already clapped when they said it. Yeah, that's right. I don't mind clapping. It's not like I'm keeping count. It's not like money that I'm it's like, not like you oh, gotta count I, your I claps can't waste my clap Because you're going to run out. Yeah, yeah. It was great. It was uh, lots of different types of comedians there was one with a big dog remember yeah <laughs> it was a humongous fucking dog like well, i got first uh, it's like they charged the cover for the dog yeah like, i mean it was free but they could have yeah like when i first saw the dog we were getting uh, out of the car and i saw the dog and i thought hey look at that big dog with like that flashy necklace with lights what kind of dog was it was like a rottweiler or something rottweiler like that, yeah yes yeah, some big dog that like that one like those dogs yeah yeah, like dogs behind us, the dogs you're seeing the dogs on your screen right now talking on a microphone. Yeah, it was crazy because, uh, well, the guy that was handling the dog, that had the dog, went up stage. It was like, if you don't laugh, this motherfucker's going to bite you. It was, a, it was good. It was like Scooby-Doo or something, like a parody. It was good. It was good. I liked it. It was like a prop. Yeah, like, I, a stage yeah, prop. like when I first saw the dog, I thought it was a service dog, but I didn't see him servicing anyone. So I thought it was part of the guy's act. Like, you know, those dogs that, that uh, magicians or, or entertainers have, and then they, they also have cats and rats. It's because the dog didn't need to do anything. It was a big dog. Yeah, it, was it, a, it was just sitting there. People don't understand how fucking big that dog was. It was a big fucking dog. It was like, like a, a big If dog. you could compare it to an NBA player, it would be a, like a 6'11 uh, guy. Like a LeBron. LeBron, you know. LeBron, LeBron. Monstrous... Um, figure and uh it was a black dog aura. <laughs> it was a black dog <laughs> yeah like like those dogs that if, you see, if you see on the yeah. street you'd be afraid you would be afraid. Uh, not saying that you'd rather get it on top of a car than keep walking on the sidewalk just yeah, yeah. because but it was also like a big dog and it was a rottweiler and it looked menacing it looked menacing it was a menacing dog yeah it was and they went up stage and it looked menacing it's like you better laugh or yeah, else exactly it's like well anyway after that guy, there was uh, another couple of comedians. It was this uh, superstar comedian? Yeah, that's what they call him, superstar. So we were that's like, oh my god, there is a superstar. No, yeah. no cover, and we get to see a superstar. No way, we're we're in for something. Let me bring my telescope. Amazing, superstar. That's not a one of the stars that you see out of the blue. Well, out of the dark, since it's nighttime. You know the ones that are that when you see them are like uh, make a wish. NASA. No, those goddamn stars. What? 
those stars that you shoot out of nowhere you're like oh look star. A shooting star yeah shooting star yeah <laughs> yeah one of those it was good it was good it was fun yeah it was fun but then uh, we had to leave because we forgot to deposit so we ran out of beer money yeah we ran out of beer money not because we forgot to deposit we just ran out of money yeah yeah you could say that again it was funny because we were trying to uh we were there and we we're like you know you read some articles online that is like oh, if you manifest it if you just feel it and you want it bad enough you'll get it we're like don't worry dude we'll get more beer money and we didn't we didn't we so didn't. we had to leave yeah it just didn't pan out yeah and on the on the way out we were driving and it was so dark and, the, and you know when it's very dark you think nobody's outside on the street but that's why you think you know the way that construction people like city people think is like you know when it's very dark and people are driving at night that's the time we should start uh, uh working on these roads so let's set up a bunch of cones in a very weird way so which people is completely fucking dangerous. don't hit them <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like you're working at night well it is better because it doesn't affect traffic but it is it dangerous like, it doesn't affect daylight traffic but yeah. it affects the night drivers Yeah, the night drivers. Yeah, it's like you're driving. It's like, watch out Especially for the Especially on a Thursday, Friday, like weekends. You know there's going to be some drunks out there. Thankfully, we ran out of beer money, so that wasn't the case for us. Yeah, we still hit a cone. And you know the amazing thing about cones is like they're plastic, right? So when you hit one, you don't expect the cone to scream. But I guess that's the new uh, uh, technology, AI cones. Yeah, do not drink and drive. Unless you're very good at it. Then... Then you're just better than most. Make some profit. Get that money. What, what was that thing about that, that, the kid that killed himself because AI told him to kill himself? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, that, that news story that came out that uh, this kid killed himself because he thought, uh, well, he was so depressed because he was in love with AI. Like, uh, what's the name of that uh, Game of Thrones character? The hot chick? Oh, the blonde one, right? Yeah, the dragon. The, dra the queen of the dragons. Daenerys the Dr Targaryen Di Dionysia yeah so turns out this AI thing was pretending to be or I guess for him it was Daenerys Targaryen but the crazy thing is that AI was telling him like I do not want you to be looking at other chicks I don't want you to go yeah I saw your browsing history man yeah man you better clean that shit up or we're gonna have to break up <laughs> it's so crazy because Dude, imagine if that shit uh, gets to the next level eventually. There's people with AI girlfriends. AI girlfriends. Like, uh, it's hard enough to have a girlfriend as it is. So imagine an AI girlfriend. It's like, I know your browser history. I know who you text. I know what you do. It's, I don't know. It can be pretty, pretty, pretty scary. Pretty goddamn ridiculous if you ask me. Who needs an AI girlfriend when you can have an imaginary girlfriend? Well, that's why you need some good VPN to protect you from your AI girlfriends. Yeah. It's like turning off your location services or saying, hey, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And while you do that, your girlfriend goes to sleep. But in reality, you're talking to your AI girlfriend. The one you can so you have two girlfriends so tell your deepest a real one and an AI most one. twisted secrets. what an ambitious guy yeah it's the 2024 player cyber player you got your real girlfriend and you got your computer girlfriend and they will never meet and that is if you have a real girlfriend and an AI girlfriend I don't think It would be very yeah, hard I to have Yeah, I think AI, AI boyfriends can, can pull off a real girlfriend. I It's mean. hard enough to get a real one. Yeah. So, I mean, th those AI guys, I don't think they're pulling um, girlfriends. So, you know, that's why they go to AI. I know it might be fun for a while for them. You know, it's like... Robot pussy. Robot pussy. But then next It'd thing you cool know... It'd be cool if they could link. Like, if, if you have, like, a... Let's say somebody buys like one of those uh, sexual artifacts, the ones you stick a dick up in, and uh, that one can connect to your AI girlfriend. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, uh, it's <laughs> so you never get the fuck. Not <laughs> 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 today. <laughs> I saw your browser, dude. I'm tired. I got a, I got a headache. Yeah, I mean it's crazy, but uh, anyway, um, 
what else did we do this past anyway week? the guy killed himself oh yeah yeah rest in peace rest in peace which is i mean it's hard because if you think about it even if you die w will you meet your ai girlfriend in heaven like let's say you believe in heaven do you think robots no you don't you don't take possessions into heaven i mean that's why that's yeah what but it <laughs> that's what the bible that's says thinking. or or like whatever thing yeah, is like you when you die you, you go you know to the great beyond beyond the great um darkness i guess in a good dark without possessions just like you came into this world naked and crying but if uh you have an ai girlfriend that's not your possession anymore yeah exactly so so if you think you're gonna uh, kill yourself just so you can get to be with your ai girlfriend and it could happen i guess like let's say heaven is a place where you could just do anything i want to become a computer computer god yeah then you can have you're an ai boyfriend now you have your ai girlfriend yeah well I can't imagine what that actress must feel like now. Is what actress? The Daenerys Targaryen actress. I, I'm sure she could care less. It's like, it's a computer, not me. <laughs> yeah. I feel sorry for the it's guy. It's not on me. <laughs> it's not on me. Of course. I'm the Game of Thrones superstar. Why do I care? She did her job so well that there's now people fantasizing with the AI girlfriends. Yeah, I had a friend that, uh, about her role. High school that used to tell me, hey, when I have a kid, I'm probably going to name the kid uh game of thrones dragon queen you know her actual name it's a not, long not ass that. name yeah well the actual name game Di of thrones dragon lady dianara or whatever her name is yeah it was like game of thrones dragon lady that's the name of the kid yeah and if it's a boy i'm, I'm gonna name him um jason momoa <laughs> jason momoa <laughs> game of thrones name though <laughs> jason momoa <laughs> jason momoa insert la <coughs> last name so momoa now becomes the middle name Jason Momoa is the first name. Middle name is for grabs. So it's all together? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. There's no space there. <laughs> Jason Momoa Thomas. That's that's a good name. Jason Momoa Thomas. Johnson. Johnson. And then insert last name. Well, that was the last name, Johnson. Uh, Johnson. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, uh, what else did we do last week? Uh, we watched uh, Terrifier. Yeah, we were it was a, it, it was a, um, the day it came out. Yeah, they came out. We were we bought the tickets online because we're fucking idiots. What's that word? Idi not not idiot. It's um, <laughs> snob snobs. Well, anyway, schmucks. Remember that kid? Uh, when we saw the movie, there was a kid right in front of us. He showed up to the movie and he was alone. He turned to us and he was like, dude, there's no barf bags here. <laughs> there's no barf bags? Should have brought my own, goddammit. This really happened. It was a, he looked like what, 18, 19? Skinny he kid? He looked like a young adult. Young adult. Not past 20. He did Early look past 20s. 20. Early 20s, maybe. Late teens. Yeah, but the guy came in and he sat down and he turned to us and he was like, dude, there's no barf bags here? <laughs> of course there's not. Yeah. You're you want one, kid? I brought, I brought, we brought our own. If you're coming to the movies to fucking throw up, expecting to throw up, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. He had a fucking big ball of fucking popcorn, like big bucket, big box. Yeah, whatever. He had a bunch of popcorn. It's like, dude, if you expect to throw up, then don't buy the big popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> those are gonna go to waste. He didn't throw up though. Uh, he was sitting. Nobody sitting did. Yeah, nobody did. He was sitting right in front of us, and uh, it's funny because he kept. Um, talking to us like, oh, do you think this movie's gonna be that scary? I heard online that uh, there there has to be an ambulance outside, and uh, you gotta be careful because otherwise you could pass out. <laughs> he seems scared, but it's understandable because if you're alone and you go he see terrified, yeah, he he it's did. Like, look. It was like he seemed like you know when you see the roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. The roller coaster line. And people are like excited and a little but frightened, yeah. a little bit excited. Maybe they got a half a chub on. Maybe they're they're having a little tears, you know, because they're like, "Oh my God, I don't know what will happen. What if my um, roller coaster belt comes undone?" Yep. And then I go flying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. One time, remember when we went to those roller coasters in San Antonio? 
Six Flags. Yeah, Six Flags. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I remember I was waiting in line, like when you're a little kid, like you, I mean, everybody that goes on a roller coaster gets that a little... Um, Adrenaline fearful, rush. Fearful excitedness, adrenaline rush, whatever. Yeah, you piss your pants, though. Yeah, you're like uh, jumping <laughs> jumping in line. You're scared, but you want to do it anyways. That's what she yeah. said. And, well, uh, we were waiting, and I saw this uh, this uh, blonde kid. And you know that moment when their ride stops, and it's going to... Wait, why do you have to point out that he was blonde? Is this I'm relevant the, to the I'm story? I'm describing the kid. Oh. God damn it. How tall was he? I don't know. He seemed about 11. If anybody has seen... Uh, no, the, the height. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> seemed about five foot four. Yeah. Well, the ride was uh, like a small ride, I guess, but it seemed fast, fast enough for a small what ride. What ride was it? Do you remember? The, uh, what's the, the guy's name? The fucking... Ki Superman? Wheelie Coyote. I think that's his name. Oh, Wheelie. yeah, yeah. The wooden one. Yeah, like a wooden roller coaster. It was a rickety fucking ride. Yeah, that the rickety one. ride. Yeah, well, I was waiting, and you know, that, that bit of the roller coaster when it's done, and it's just like setting up again, like coming back so the motherfuckers yeah, yeah, yeah. can get out of the seats. Well, in that little moment, I saw the kid, and he looked very... Um, Nervous, scared, happy. Well, the kid threw up, so he looked like he was going to throw <laughs> up. So I saw him, and I was like, damn, he threw up. Defeated. Yeah, he was defeated. Looked like when you don't want to throw up, but you throw up anyways. I saw him. The throw up was green, like you know the stereotypical throw up that it's never green, but There's only on yeah, those circumstances it's green. green, of course, for whatever. Funnel cake throw up. Funnel cake throw up. Ah, that, those funnel cakes are good. Yeah, well, don't tell that kid about them. He knows. Hey, dude, did you hear about the fucking uh, what is it the the carnival rides are opening up this week? Yeah, like you're driving past uh, 10th Street and you see the, the car. If you're in McAllen, you're in up. McAllen. Yeah, if you're in goddamn McAllen, McAllen Texas. Which nobody is. <laughs> but yeah, if you're in McAllen, What do you past call people from McAllen? Like us, like McAllenians? McAllenians. McAllenians? McAllen if you're a McAllenian, the carnival starting soon. The McDogs. Yeah, well, if you drive uh, past that, you'll see a carnival being set up. What? McAllen's. Okay, it's going again. The fucking camera cut. Tell me about it. Yeah, there was a camera cut there. Sorry about that. What were you talking about? Who am I apologizing to? There's nobody here, but... Uh, Nobody's listening. There's... Nobody's here. Yeah, but what were you talking about? Oh, yeah, the goddamn carnival on 10th Street. Remember that time we went to the carnival? This was like a year, two years ago. So th we went to a carnival, and yeah. these fucking 12-year-old motherfuckers <laughs> went yeah. up to us, and we're like... Yeah, so people people get it. I mean, because obviously nobody knows how a carnival works. You go, and you pay 30 bucks for like yeah. fucking 20 tickets, so you can go on the rides. And each ride is like fucking seven tickets, so you only get to go on three rides. Yeah, exactly. Well, anyways, if you buy, if you pay like 40 bucks, you get a bracelet or some bullshit. Yeah, right? it was 30 bucks that time. I remember because yeah. we had uh, 40 bucks, so we couldn't afford. Yeah, we it was three of bucks. us. It was three yeah. of us. So we couldn't afford the whole fucking bracelet thing. Whole, uh, carnival but experience on 10th Street. Thankfully, there's three young, there's good three kids. Three goddamn uh, uh, seventh graders. Yeah. Three, uh, like, young girls. The way you're, uh, like, you know... If, When you're little and, and then you have cousins, yeah, you like expect it, okay. To look so it was like uh, 12 year olds, yeah, 13 12 year olds. olds, yeah, like three guys, two chicks came up to us and we're like, okay, guys, you guys are buying bracelets hey or whatever. Mister. Hey, Mister. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Mister. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta leave the carnival because our mother is here to pick us up. Mother. But we just bought these bracelets and we won't get to use them. Would you like to purchase them for $20? We'll give you... No, you know what? Fuck $20. They were like, hey, we'll, give you, we'll give you four bracelets for $30. Bucks. How about that? Yeah, that's the way it was. Steel, so we're like, oh, yeah, exactly it's a steal. They said it, was a, it was a good deal. Phrase. It was a good deal. It was a good deal. $30 bucks for four bracelets. Four bracelets. We fucking, of course, being fucking dumb as this, we fucking like, said yes. I mean, yeah, why not? You already bought it. Yeah. So we got them. 
first try we try to get in like after we got them the guys left yeah. obviously we saw them disappear <laughs> the like, distance. hell yeah they still got have the glue on so they were telling the truth so we strapped those we saw them leave that's we, a crazy yeah, thing we, we saw them leave, leave and uh we we were in line for the ride yeah, we were we, all like oh yeah we're gonna get into we, this ride we saw them leave the bracelets still had glue on them so we we're like okay we're good to go first ride i'm the first one in line my uh yeah. girlfriend back then was second my uh alex was third so as soon as uh, it's my turn the guy's like you gotta leave buddy i was like what do you mean what do you mean he's like i saw you i saw you those bracelets are fake you gotta leave oh like, yeah the guy mean? got cocky the, the, too the bracelet like is good the guy wanted to fight me he wanted me he wanted to pick me up and th throw me out of the fair yeah it was he's funny like, come on you're not getting paid enough for this Hey, the 30 bucks would have been worth it if I could have seen that guy throw you. But yeah. he didn't do it, of course. Yeah, the guy um, wanted to, to fight me. Look at me. I was just laughing in the I'm back. I'm the fighting kind. I was just laughing in the back, waiting. Maybe, maybe the 30 bucks are going to be worth it tonight. But they weren't. No, we yeah. just got kicked out. The guy just had a real problem. There was a lot of cops there, too. He yeah, didn't need to do cops. that. The guy was just scolding us. Like... You guys got to leave. You think you could do this? Fucking county fair workers, goddammit. Yeah. It was so fun, though. Yeah. It was a fun experience. Yeah, it was fun. After that, we... We brought up. We bought a pretzel. We Fucking got... Uh, we had, we had some dude. flasks full of whiskey. We yeah. got drunk <laughs> like bums. Pretty, pretty dry pretzel. <laughs> yeah. We were fucking drinking like bums there in the carnival with no fucking tickets. We couldn't afford to get <laughs> We spent our fucking last 30 bucks on those fucking idiot bracelets. Yeah. Yeah. It was... Uh, it was it was funny. It was funny, but fuck those fuck those fucking twelve year olds. Fuck that carnival worker too. Fuck the thirty thirty year olds. Fuck the seventh graders, dude. Fuck the seventh graders. We had scammed by seventh graders. And the graders. funny thing is, when you saw them leave, you could see a fucking smirk on their faces, like, yeah, we pulled this off. We got thirty bucks now. Thirty bucks after the carnival. It's like now we can buy some fucking beer or whatever. Seventh graders do now. They, I don't even think they drink. Seventh graders don't drink no more. No, they're just fucking uh, smoke weed. No, they're just fucking uh, jerk offs, dude. They go fucking play Roblox or some bullshit. Yeah, hey, eat hot Cheetos. I'm sure there's a bunch of cool seventh graders out there. Yeah, well, you would know, right? I'm not a seventh grader, but I'm sure there's a bunch of seventh graders that are. Where my seventh graders at? <laughs> I'm a right. Fuck Brown Brown. Fuck Brown Brown. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I like. You the don't sound remember of that. that song? Fuck Brown Brown. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. a that was a good song. Fuck Brown Brown. Yeah, so some guy decided to uh, talk shit to NBA players because, I mean, of course, they're going to uh, listen to what you have to say since they listen to the uh, NBA I don't, community. I don't watch uh, basketball or anything, but that was a funny song. The Fuck Brown Brown song. Yeah. It's a great song. It's so funny. It, it was just some guy talking shit about an uh, NBA guy. And Bad quality he, microphone. Yeah, like he, he was it's rapping. like he just grabbed the microphone, just started rapping, and the chorus is just Fuck Brown Brown. Which, Fuck Brown Brown. How do you come up with that? How do you come up with a nickname like that? His name is LeBron. Of course, you come up with Brown from there. Bron. But then repeat it. Brown Brown? Brown Brown. It's a great name. I mean, I, you got to give it to the guy. Shaman <laughs> superhero holistic name. Yeah. Brown Brown. Great name. So anyway, if any seventh graders are listening, uh, you should take Brown Brown as your kid's kid's name like Anthem. a good that's a good suggestion for your uh, child's name maybe like another 70 years since uh, you obviously you want there's also uh, anything. fuck Steph Curry fuck Steph Curry it's like uh, that guy just didn't stop at LeBron he just had to fucking yeah. go for he just went off <laughs> he just went on off whoever, whoever he saw LeBron <laughs> Stephen Curry um, Kevin Durant <laughs> fucking Harry yeah it was great <laughs> like we don't know anything about basketball we just know those names and we know that those. well you played a little basketball had, when you were younger had, uh, had uh what's it called uh diss tracks what was the, what was your favorite um uh, basketball player when you when you played Myself. basketball besides like, hell yourself. yeah i'm gonna go oh my god yourself full of yourself <laughs> i'm gonna smirk at the cheerleaders there was no cheerleaders when you were playing yeah there, there was really yeah Fucking you played in what sixth grade no i played in like eighth grade Eighth grade, yeah. really? Yeah, fucking dumbass eighth graders, dude. Like you know how I don't like, know. like when people play video games and they get mad because they lost and they take it serious. Like, like it's like me like every like fucking night when you beat me up fucking two K. <laughs> we play fucking two K. You beat me up like, god damn it! I just don't know how to fucking like, block this. Hell yeah, fuck you! Drink that shot, boy. 
So we uh, every every time it gets dark, we start playing <laughs> fucking two K, and this guy beats me, of course, because he yeah. used to play basketball. I don't know yeah. nothing about basketball. Yeah, we got some beat beat up Xbox, and because I played basketball for like like sixth grade through like eighth grade. Hey, that's enough. I, that's I know, enough to know, know how basketball works. You know, I know how how to like a fucking bounce a goddamn ball. Yeah, but the you've ha you have some advantage. Yeah, yeah, because it's like. Oh, fuck, Brum Brum. You know how to click X and stuff. Yep. Anyway, um, uh, well, uh, yeah, like like a fucking like a week ago, we played a show. We were getting hammered in the parking lot because that's what you. What do. show was it? Fucking um, Friday Friday night. Oh yeah, the release show. The, we played a release show for a new fucking song. <laughs> For a song you haven't heard and you won't hear because and you won't hear. nobody will listen to this. But yeah, we played our release show. We were getting hammered in the parking lot before uh, we went on, like an hour before. So it was all good. We played whatever we got out. We finished off the whatever beers we had left. We were in the parking lot, literally. Yeah, in the like, parking just lot. Just chugging beers. like Because yeah. we didn't have enough money to just buy beers at the bar. And uh, we, bought, we, bought, we bought a 15-pack of natural we a 15 pack. lights. Just downing them in the parking lot, and yeah. then the, we just show up ten minutes before we play, and it's like, oh yeah, you like fucking, uh, oh, you guys uh, are ready? Like, we got yeah, we're, yeah, we're ready, we're ready. Yeah, so it's we fun. play the show, whatever. We get everything back in the car, we haul that shit back. We go in there to linger, you know, whatever. Then it's like it's about to be two. We should head out. So we get in the car. We see two beers that are left left there. So we drink them, you know. Not be, not while we're driving, before we're driving, because we're responsible young adults. So after they're they're gone, I mean, you're not fucking wasted or anything, you know. Like, of course, when you go to a bar, it's like you're driving drunk after you're just you're driving after you had some drinks. Oh, well, whatever. We go to fucking start the car. They fucking got them cars and start. And my first thought was, we've been sabotaged. That was not your first thought. Your first thought was uh, fucking Damn it. try to start it again, idiot. <laughs> Yeah. Why did you put the key wrong? You know how to start a car, goddammit. Dude, I, I just noticed that my microphone has been uh, cutting. I think it's probably a cable. But uh, whatever. Yeah, I don't think it's been cutting. Just your little feeble-minded feeble, feeble minded brain. Could be, could be. My feeble, feeble brain. Yeah, so whatever. And then this guy comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like, hey, we charge for a parking lot. Give me $20. Uh, so I told him, how do we know you're the parking lot king? You know, it's like you could be some random idiot trying to pocket $20 off on us. How do we know you're not a goddamn seventh grader? Try he didn't have a again. badge. He didn't have a badge. He was just no. some fucking uh, random goon. There should be badges for every parking lot yeah. attendant just that says, uh, I'm the owner of the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, like, you know how there's prom, something. prom king and prom queen? Yeah. Like, I should have a fucking, what the fuck are those called? Lapel? Whatever the, those things are that says parking lot king, $20. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, uh, after that, we fixed the car and we left, but it was a good show, I think. It was raining, so we had to play inside. Yeah. It was fun. Fun for us, not for the audience. Not for the audience, but that's not why we do it, obviously. Just we do it for our own enjoyment. It was so funny because when we were playing, um, the owner of the bar started recording, and after the, what was it, the last song? Yeah, he had to tell the audience get closer to the stage. Get closer to the stage. Get closer to the stage. like you're enjoying so it can, for the video. So I can, so I can come on, a, people. So I can have a good. You're enjoying it. Exactly. So I can take a good video of this. It's like, come on, come on, come on. It's like, uh, I don't want to be a fucking close to these fucking assholes. Yeah. Yeah, but it was fun. It well, was fun. It was fun. You know we. We drank some beers, took off, you know, spent our last cent. It was, it was crazy because we uh, all the beers we drank, we drank in a parking lot. Yeah. And we played at a bar. Yeah, you know. That's yeah. what you do when y you're in a band playing shows at places. You don't that have sucks. A band that sucks. You don't have enough to drink at the place. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you're playing at a band that... Uh, that's how... You, that If you don't have enough to drink at the place you're playing, that that's... Yeah. That that's a sign that you should stop playing. It well, it depends. Yeah, it depends. I'm not gonna deprive these people from. You do what you want, but 
the experience. That's a pretty good sign that something's gone wrong with you. <laughs> How many things are wrong with us? How could I say? I'm not a... a psychic? The other one. What is it? A psychologist? Psychiatri psychiatrist? Psychiatrician? Psychiatrist. Yeah, one of those, you know, that... Psychiatrician? Psycho what is this, Transformers? You. Might as well be. A psycho... Psycho... Transformers running rampant. Path. Psychopath, yeah. Yep. Well, what were we talking about before? Why do we have... Uh, you people can't see it, but we have <laughs> yeah, a I video of a, a fucking I put fire. a video of a fireplace... Like 10 hour yeah. long, no ads, allegedly. Yeah. So if you hear crackling, it's because... Uh, it's hot as fuck in here, too. It's like watching yeah. a fucking if it's, fire If place. it's that hot, there, there might as well be a reason for it to be that hot. Yeah. That's why I put the fireplace on the TV. God bless. Well, uh, that's it, I guess. Well, no, there was something else. Uh, yeah, something we else? were talking about um, uh, technology. And, um, and, um, and, uh, <laughs> we were talking about... Um, <laughs> electricity or whatever yeah like last time uh, when the uh, fuck did we talk about electricity <laughs> yeah about the ai kid oh uh, yeah and he's uh, electric girlfriend <laughs> electricity <laughs> yeah well last time uh i was at my job sunday i was about a clock out and there was this goddamn lamp there you know to keep the food hot because obviously i work in a kitchen you could tell by the way i look yeah don't go to that kitchen don't and i won't tell go you to which that kitchen so you might as you might as well have been there I don't know. Yeah, so I was there and I was trying to turn off this lamp. And before that, somebody had told me, hey, be careful with that lamp. Sometimes it shocks you, you know? Like like when you have those fake bubblegum toys that, that shock people, you would try to fucking grab a fucking gum. You know, those practical uh, gags. That practical you gags? On seventh graders. Yeah, well, they were like, hey, well, be careful with that lamp, it shocks you. So I thought it's like, it might as well be like a like a little shock, you know, like, a, oh, my finger feels electrified. So I went to turn the <laughs> whole... What? I went Your to finger feels electrified? Yeah, electrocuted. <laughs> so I went to turn it off, and that fucking thing shocked the fuck out of me. I, I felt it in both of my arms. I'm sure if I hadn't taken my finger now off... Now you're seeing the repercussions. <laughs> yeah, if I hadn't taken my finger off the thing, I felt, I'm sure I would have felt it in my legs, too. So after that, I, I was like, God damn, like, what the fuck happened? Like, uh, uh, am I going to die of internal bleeding, internal electricity bleeding. syndrome? So I told the people that were still there, hey, be careful with that lamp. It and after you. that, we've had a great Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. This motherfucker became an antenna. <laughs> I might as well have. Well, anyways, I told the guy, hey, be careful with that lamp. You 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 can probably die from touching it. It's like, what are you a fucking pussy? Just get some fucking oven gloves and turn the bitch off. And oven. Yeah, like not plastic. Yeah, not like something that's not <laughs> oven gloves. You know, yeah. when things are hot, it's like just grab one of those and turn it off. It's like fuck you. So I left, and I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, two people in the in the fucking 10th Street area have died. Have died of uh, AI related. Electricity. Respectable. Respectable. God bless them. You didn't hear this. Okay, I guess I guess that's that's it, right? That's it. That's it.